Hello, my loopy dudes. It is I, LoopyGuy7, coming at you with another loopy let's play. This time it's going to be a YouTube series on Japan. Ah, uh, Japan, a seldomly played nation of mine, but they seem so fun. They're so poised to make the world happen. With a quick into China, take over the rest of the world. Well, let's see what we can do as we play Japan 1936, Iron Man, historical focus. Let's begin. Japan. I don't know what Japan 1 is, but Japan 2 is this. Ah, uh, some more Hearts of Iron content on the channel. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys do too. Well, this is going to be not a live let's play. This is going to be a YouTube let's play. But I'm going to keep most content in. I may break up a little bit of the slower parts. But I think I'm just going to film it as we go. Here we go. This is our starting position in Japan. 1936. We have 16 mills, 22 civvies, and 14 dockyards. We start off with roughly about a half a million men. And I don't think we can be better. All right, Japan needs to play Navy, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of the Navy, but I just like sub spam to be honest, but we need to get over. So the goal of this campaign, do we have any achievements? Let's check. Directly? Nuke, we could try Tojo Shot first, as Japan, nuke a core terror of the US before the US develops nuclear weapons. So we'll see if we can get that. I don't know when they do, but I assume the U.S. is hard-coded to pursue down that path. So. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of men here. So we are going to... Alright, there's just a lot. We're going to have to figure this out. First, let's go our national focuses. They can go... Ooh, it's a couple different ways. I think we are going to try to go down the more historical path. Um, purge to... Kyoha Kodoha faction Don't ask me to explain this Or don't ask me to explain We can also go communist And there is the do Democratic path uh, I feel like attacking So we are going down traditional World War II path So we're going to purge the Kyoha faction Awesome Now we have a lot of guys to go through So let's cycle through this Let's get our motorized and our tanks. Pull them out. They're going to be special. Let's grab the lower garrison guys. There's 30. Let's grab the... Well, we have horses. We're going to put them in our motorized factions. We have one marine. And then we got 15 infantry. Perfect. So these guys are going to be in their theater by themselves. You are going to guard the coast. So I'm going to put you there, I'm going to put you there. We're going to go everywhere. Ooh, tell me if the music comes in good on the comments. I believe we have it. We're not playing anything more difficult right now, we're just staying on normal. We could probably, we could go to expert, but I think this is going to be good for this let's play. I'm excited. So we're going to use our colonials, I'm going to call them colonials, I'll name them colonials soon. And we're going to just garrison everything with them. I wish there was a garrison, garrison everything button. That would just be perfect. Perfect. And go into Korea. And I think that's it. Oh, we gotta get over there. Gotta get her. Oh my god, Japan has a lot going on. Alright, I think we're good. We need 151 divisions at this current. Now let's see what our divisions look like. And this is our main infantry. 24 with infantry. Okay, fine. These are generously that's not tanks we'll have to fix that these are going to be our mps so we're going to change over the horses we have we're going to change them to our tanks tanks i'm doing the hand motions tanks they will turn into tanks these are our marines we're going to probably need our marines we're going to keep them around and these are colonials we'll name them appropriately colonials Perfect. We'll put them in low priority, and we're gonna put them to the little guard tower loot. Perfect. Anything look good? I think I like that. Then we'll save them to that. Perfect. Let's go. Let's see our research. We get four slots of Japan. That's good. Ooh, I see a negative modifier. 
Materialism, okay. And duplicate research efforts. Air research, okay, whatever. So, we have a couple modifiers. Let's check them out. We have Hirohito. Uh, Imperial sanction, generate war tension limit against Japan. Or against China, 75%. Basically all the Chinese, okay. We have state Shintoism. Division recovery, rate, factory bomb vulnerability. Plus 10%, minus 10%, respectively. We also have Zebutas. Okay. Daily political power, 0.25. Consumer goods, 5%. That's bad. Military and factory construction speeds, good. At 5%. Dockyard construction speed at 5 And economy laws and trade laws are a little bit more expensive. Duplicate research efforts. Air research, net minus 10. Militarism, plus 20%. War support, minus 5% research speed, justified. 20%. Civilian factory construction speed, 10%. Extreme logs, minus 25%. Okay. We have inter service rivalry balance, and we are a London Naval Trignature Signatory. Perfect. <coughs> also, we are in partial mode, so that's good. We are going to need. We're going to need to turn this into a war machine. But with our dockyards, that's adding to this. So. I always like building sieves to begin with, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go into our high areas, high density areas, 80, 80, 70, 70. Perfect. And after that, we're just going to fill the rest up with mills. The whole islands really aren't good for this, and that's fine. They don't need to be. China's where we're going to get it. Alright, so in Hearts of Iron, I typically found that good good ground a decent ground and cast really saves us so we're gonna be focusing that we don't have our fighters hmm okay oh the zero so we have cast good we're gonna spam cast so I think we're gonna go generic focus electromagnetic Machine tools, construction, and the last one. If you're new to Hearts of Iron, I would suggest watching this series. It's really good just for newer players not knowing what to do. I'm not a Japan expert on it all, but I can play pretty mean Italy. Um, we're just going to figure it out together. I think we're going to go light tanks. So we're going to go light tank Japan. I think that's what we're going to do. But we don't have a lot in the resources. And we have a decent amount. You have a lot of tungsten. Okay, we can go heavy. Not tungsten, heavy chromium. Tungsten's up there. Perfect. So, first and foremost, we're going to need guns. Fired by a little support equipment. A little artillery. Um, we're going to need those. And CAS is going to be the bigger thing. So, close air support. We're going to build it up here. CAS is going to help us do what we need to do. So we're going to put 15 on CAS. We'll have to get tanks soon, but let's get our CAS out of the way. Our tanks probably won't be ready until we get China. Um, the biggest important thing here is with the addition of Law Resistance, we can create an intelligence agency. And they have the ability to create a collabor collaboration government. And what's a collaboration government? So you put your spies in the enemy's area. And then you just talk to them, talk to the populace, talk to government, whatever. And after a while, they come back, and when, if you take the country over, they'll be more likely to work with you with um, collaborations. So we're going to create an agency to begin with. Um, the G2 department, go. Great. Now that we got that out of the way, we're about maybe halfway done with the episode. We are going to, uh, we're not done yet. So these are our front lines here. We are going to put you here. On that border. We're going to put you... Manchuto's ours. We're going to put you on the Chinese border. And you are going to stay... Here. Perfect. And let's give them a field marshal. Samurai lineage no idea what that is so we're gonna do that perfect gonna put 
that there. Put that there. Actually, we're gonna make sure you are a tank guy. You are not a tank guy, you are an infantry gentleman. Tank, tanky, 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 tanky. Feeling tanky now. Do we have not have a tank guy? In all the Japanese army? Substance abuser, okay, well. No, no tank guy. Weird. Okay, so I'll just use anybody, I don't care. You look good. And you, since you're going to be our Marines, I'm going to put you. Brilliant Strategist, which means they'll get a bonus and buff. Perfect. And I think we can start the game. Historical focus, let's go. And sleep building things, everybody's moving. Let's see, I think everybody's going historical, so it's going to be as we expect. They form the popular front? Oh, okay. I thought it was national block. Okay, popular front makes sense. Yep, everybody's going normal. So, when does Japan normally start the war with the Chinese? I think. 37 or 38, I think I have in my head. We'll probably start at 38. I think I like that. But we gotta fix our divisions. So we're gonna have you train. These are only experience two, so we're going to cancel that. Hit shift in the experience button. They're gonna train to level three. We're gonna train you guys to level three. So we'll get a little bit of experience. But mainly I just want some army experience. Perfect. Is this coming through properly? Looks like it. Our agency is created. That's good. So we want to be able to create a collaboration government, which we're going to at least need two um, people. So right now, I'm going to do localized training centers. It's 10 factories, but this will allow us to pick the ideology, not the ideology, the nationality of our spy. And if we get Chinese spies, then we'll build the spy network better and faster, which is kind of what we want. I will gauge the music probably after the first episode. We have the common turn radio. That explains it. So I think I'm going to go down to hearts and axis radio. The ally speeches are probably the best, but we don't need peace in our time. Cool. Ah, there we go. Marching music. This is what you come for. Hearts iron for marching music. There we go. <sighs> we are ready. I am ready. And like I said, we're gonna try to go for Tojo shot first. Hearts of Iron for achievement run. Our next thing we wanna do is Hmm. <laughs> I feel like form department. So we can start getting ciphers. That's good. So if I go into our decisions, we should see a decision to allow us to localize recruitment. So we're gonna go recruit in China. So now our agent is of Chinese nationality. So we're gonna start building our spy network in China. Free dockyards always have convoys going. They never have them default in the naval tree or the production line, but you need convoys. They help you for trade, and they supply your troops abroad. Prioritize deal for guns. Dark guard construction speed, yeah, we're gonna do that. So Japan has a bunch, and I mean a bunch of defense, a bunch of inter-service rivalries. You can read the thing here. The Imperial Navy and the Imperial Army are locked into a vicious conflict over limited resources. We have instituted regular conferences to ensure our resources are spent in the right place. 
favoring one over the other will have far-reaching consequences. So that's what we're going to do here. So we are going to lean pro military and army is strengthened. So our dark yard output's going to go down a little bit, but that is fine. I'm not going to worry about that at this point. So we purged the Kyoto faction. We got base 10 stability. So we got perfect. So our next is the Lisbon Convent, which gains us start planning, starting planning skill level of any new army leaders. That's good. So this kind of drives us into war. The tripartite pact, the Marco. This is the China. Let's go to war with China. So we're going to hold off that a little bit. The Manchurian Project will help our puppet. That's good. And this will give us army experience. We're going to do army expansion law to get 20 experience, or to get 30 experience. Oh, I'm just blind. Our government must have one of its core tenets of the immediate and drastic increase of our military forces. So let's expand that army so we can desperately fix these templates. That's my son in the background. He's picked up. Ah, uh, let's go. I'm ready. You're going. You're probably going to run with seven twos on our infantry. Seven twos are seven infantry, two artillery, and whatever support we choose. And they're the backbone because you get 20 combat with, and because battles are broken up into um, multiples of 20, 20 combat with is preferable, or 40. So we got electromagnetic engineering. Let's go mechanical computing. Reform department's done. Good. Radio interception group gives us this encryption power. And let's start getting that Chinese ciphered now. Italy took Ethiopia. Congratulations. What can we do? It's grabbing me. Huh? We're just going to abandon the treaty treaties. So we are not gated. Good. And we got to create a super battleship as well. We'll create that soon. Probably have to get experience from the war. 1.4 million people of limited conscription. Good. We're going to change you to green. We're going to change you to red. Green, red, and the Marines are going to go blue. And I'm going to change his color to white. Perfect. And we got field marshal traits. These are here. This gives us traits to all the people under us why if we would do it to a general it's just going to be general traits we can do a field marshal trait but it's not as good and vice versa so field marshal traits take command power so we're just going to pick organization for reinforcement rate and division recovery rate for charismatic good i'm keeping people on the russian border because there's going to be a border provocation i think we choose to do so that's going to be good to have Radio interception group done. Second naval London treaty signed. We are not in it. And we're gonna go passive defense with five. After three upgrades, we should be access to a second agent. And we can get a third agent with political power. Do 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 do. Ah, voice is going a bit. Voice is going. Did a couple streams this week. Felt pretty good. I live stream on Twitch and YouTube. <coughs> you obviously know where the YouTube is. Um, but the Twitch is in the banner. If you click, it will be I8. So, dispersed industry or concentrated industry. The classic hearts of iron question. Basically, dispersed lets us... <coughs> basically, equals on... Uh... It basically, we would be able to put the same amount of factories down, so that doesn't matter, but it's how much output. This will let us have less output, but the ability to change over different product lines with less of a penalty, and concentrate it just more raw output. I'm going to go concentrate it. I'm a fan. I like producing more of things. Army expansion law is done. Good. Army expansion law or infantry weapons. The Manchurian project. This will make our puppet better. Which could be helpful. 
This gives us two civilian factories in production speed. So we're going to click that. What did, let's read it. Guide the... Guide the Zabatus. Zabatus. The largest corporations of our nation have long had unprecedented political and economic power. With some finesse, we may be able to guide their efforts in our favor. Add two civilian factories. Replace Zabatus with Guide to Zabatus. Factory output and construction speed. Great. That's what we want. We just had our third thing. Are you making a wire out of me? Nope, not yet. Interesting. Maybe we need a third thing over here. Maybe third upgrade. Okay. Acid defense may not count as an upgrade anymore. I remember it used to. I remember it used to. We will see. Ah. Excellent. Test the Soviets. This is what we can do. Border conflicts. We can do testing the Soviets. I think we want things. So we're going to let them do the purge. And after we do the purge, we'll test them. Going to be good. We got our light tank twos. Good. Now we must pick a land doctrine. I feel like all of them have their pros and cons. If you're going heavy tank warfare, more will warfare doctrine is for you. Superior firepower. <clears throat> We're not going to have as many men, so I'm thinking I'm going to go superior firepower. Grand battle plan is good for anything overall. And mass assault doctrines, if you have guys, then go for it. So superior firepower Japan is fine. Our next thing we're going to do is I am going to do construction too for construction speed boost, which is necessary. All right, and we're just going to keep going. First couple years of any Hearts of Iron video is just a lot of us waiting. Let's fix our... We're going to take that down, so we're progressing in time. Let's fix our units. So we want seven twos. Seven twos. Remove. 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 Perfect. Seven twos with engineering company, and that's as far as we can. We can't add a support artillery, which we are going to want to. And we're just going to name these the seven twos and give them a fun little design. I like, I like the cats. Perfect. So now we're going to go to our production line. <coughs> we're building civs, but we're taking a lot of civs for what we want in our intelligence agency, so that's fine. Since we are investing in tanks, we are going to make sure we get at least light tanks. But I want light tanks down here after the fact. Good. So we're going to need a lot more artillery, so I'm going to bump that to five. Five artillery is the way to go. Bump the speed back. Uh, I need rubber. We need a lot. We don't have resources as Japan, apparently. Ah, good. So it's three distinct things. Passive defense doesn't count. So we got three upgrades. We're getting our next guy. Perfect. <clears throat> and if we wait a while, we can wait till he gets Chinese. I don't know what the cooldown on this is for grabbing somebody else. But it's a while. That's all I remember. I think it's like a year, but I have no idea why. Stalin Constitution is going forward. All right, so that is going to be it for episode one of Loopy Let's Play Japan. I think we're going to have a good, great old fun time. And I appreciate everybody for sticking around. I shall see you in the next video, folks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye.